Welcome and wake up South Africa. You are listening to the Coffee Conversation. Yeah, Dean. We meet again at it. Okay. As we are talking about white privilege, I'm just going to get right straight to it. And uh, yesterday I sent you this. White privilege is an inherent advantage possessed by a white person on the basis of their race in a society characterized by racial inequality and injustice. That is what Google says white privilege is. Okay. And uh, it's very close to home as I understand it and as I... As I've observed life, white people, because they are white, they sure look, seem like they are more privileged than black people. The first thing I want to ask you in you presenting that as a, a, an explanation for the accusation of white privilege is, do you find anything racist in that statement? Well, I find something more factual than okay. racist, maybe you'll have to show me how that would be racist okay. because definitely our society seems to be set up that way. Privilege just means the good things that you enjoy. So white privilege is just the good things that white people enjoy on the simple analysis of the statement of white privilege. But it goes a lot deeper than that. I think that what the accusation has some credibility with in saying is that white people in general have enjoyed privilege more and at the expense of other people. See, and because of that, we now enjoy much of our privilege. Would you agree with that? Yes. Okay. Would you also agree with the fact that because we enjoyed privilege in those days, we've still inherited some of those privileges from those days? Yes. So that we still enjoy. So is that all accurate so far? Okay. Definitely. That aspect of white privilege, that argument is sound. A hundred percent agree with that and I think most reasonable South Africans out there should agree with that but then as you are as you are going on with explaining this I want to add something here okay. white privilege goes beyond white privilege goes beyond than just the good things okay. that you enjoy white privilege entails the fact that because you are white okay. there is less prejudice directed to your way in your everyday life you are not give me an example and uh, in a, an example i walk into the shop okay as a black man i get followed for no reason nagged by a shop assistant asking me can i help you with anything and i'm just browsing what color is the shop assistant as an example it doesn't matter it, okay. it doesn't matter because i am black that is done to me okay but because you are white you would not experience the same thing you would not experience the same thing. And again, another, another example, uh, we, we've had conversations about this, which is something that goes beyond just what you have. I make a call, calling an estate agent looking for a place to rent. Because of my accent, the place is taken, but it was listed two days ago or one day ago. Okay. And that now becoming a common occurrence. To, a, to, a, to an extent that the odds are really rare that that's really what's happening here. That's real. That I've experienced, that I've seen. That is white okay. privilege. That is, is that white privilege or is that black prejudice? But